Hello friends, we're going to read the story, Penguins, it's a National Geographic kids book. Those are emperor penguins right there. There's a picture of a little penguin chick sitting on top of the mom or daddy penguin's feet, staying warm. Here's the title page, Penguins. Okay, here we go. An emperor penguin. For these penguins, Antarctica is home sweet home. It's a frozen snowy place without lakes or rivers or a single blade of anything green. All they have around them is snow and ice. Waddle. This tall as a first grader bird doesn't mind that the temperatures are below zero, way below zero. Their bodies are perfect for a refrigerated life. A baby penguin would not survive long in this frozen world by itself. Luckily, emperor parents know how to protect their little one. After mom lays an egg, she rolls it from her webbed feet onto daddy's, onto dad's. So the mom rolls the egg on, from her feet to the dad's feet. Oops, careful. When the egg is safely atop dad's feet, woo, he lowers a special feathered pouch to keep it cozy. They have to be very careful. They do not want the egg to touch that cold ice. Mom leaves right away. She needs to find food, and for that, she must travel to the sea. She will walk many miles before reaching water. Her leathery feet march across the snow. Her sharp claws grip icy spots. When she finds the sea, Mom will feast for weeks. Brr, why Antarctica? How can penguins live in Antarctica? Leathery webbed feet are great for standing on ice and swimming. How do you keep your feet warm? Can you waddle like a penguin? Feathers are tightly packed and waterproof. Underneath a layer of fat called blubber helps protect against the ch ch chill. Is your hair waterproof? And another question, are your legs shorter or longer than a penguin's? Look at how short their legs are. Shiver, bone chilling cold, icy winds, blizzards. The penguin dad stands through it all, keeping the egg safe and warm. He does not get a break for two long months, not even to eat. His job is to keep that egg warm. To keep from freezing, all the father penguins in a group or colony huddle close together. They take turns shuffling into the toasty middle, then out again. Look at all of those emperor penguins standing together. So the ones on the outside, it's their turn to be cold, but then they get to move to the inside and the inside ones come out to the outside and it'll be their turn to stand in the cold. And then the other penguins get to be warm for a little while. Mom penguin returns to the colony in July or August. She and dad call back and forth until they find each other. Why, hello, chick. So at that time, the baby chick has hatched and it's hanging out on the dad's feet, staying warm. And there's the mom and the dad saying hello. It's been a long time since they've seen each other. As soon as mom tucks the hatchling into her own feathered pouch, dad takes off. It's his turn to find the sea and much needed food. Like mom, he waddle walks over miles of ice and snow. 
he sometimes flops forward to toboggan, pushing with his feet and flippers. So they all go back together. It's the dad's turn to get the food. And sometimes they slide on their bellies. Might be a little faster or easier than waddling everywhere. What's for lunch? What do emperor penguins eat? Penguins eat food found only in the sea, like Antarctic silverfish, hooked squid, and Antarctic krill. There's a picture of the squid right there. And there's the krill. Do you eat fish? That's a question right there. Some of us eat fish, some of us do not. Would penguins eat carrots? There's a question. What do you think? I think no, because they said here that penguins only eat food in the sea, and there are not carrots in the sea, right? From their colony, penguins might have to walk 50 miles to find open water. And open water means there's no ice on top of it. They dive deeper than any other bird to 1,850 feet, and they're able to stay underwater for 15 to 20 minutes without taking a breath. Here's another question for you. Can you swim underwater? Some of you can, right? Just a few. Should you walk on ice quickly or slowly? Hmm, that's a good question. Have to think about that one. Glurp. Mom Penguin's belly is still full of seafood. She brings bits up into her mouth to feed her chick. So that's how the baby chick eats when it's little. The fuzzy chick grows bigger, braver. It pops out to take a look at the wide white neighborhood and toddles over the snow to meet new friends. So when it gets bigger and it's a little bit warmer out, it can finally start walking around itself and doesn't have to stay on the mama's feet. Summer arrives in December, and ice near the colony breaks up. An adult penguin chick sits while mom goes off to fish. So when it gets warmer, the mom can go get some more food. Dive, penguin. At last, the penguin is big enough to swim and fishing on its own. Sploosh. They have to make sure they get the adult feathers and then they can go in the water and swim. Now here's a penguin map. So what we can see here is the different types of penguins and where they live in the world. So some penguins, like this one here, can live in South America. There's another penguin here that lives in the Galapagos Islands. Those penguins live in warmer environments. Also, there's some that are in Australia. Now, we see a lot of the emperor penguins here, the one we read about in this book. They live down here at the bottom of the Earth, the South Pole. So when we talk about penguins, a lot of times we're talking about the emperor penguins who live down here in the South Pole. Some of them live in warmer areas, but the emperor penguins are the polar ones. Okay, now we know. They must be the tallest too, because the book did say they might be as tall as a first grader. A little bit bigger than you guys. And that's the end of the story. I hope you guys enjoyed that story today. I hope you learned a lot. And we'll just keep reading more books about polar animals on the North and South Poles. We're going to learn a lot. Have fun. Bye, guys.